Hello everybody, I'm Lily. Welcome back to The Walking Dead. In the last one, we had quite the adventure that not a lot of us survived. <laughs> but we picked up, moved on, we're on a train headed towards Savannah, and we're just kind of winging it. So we're going to get right back into it because I really did not want to stop playing last video. <laughs> I just kind of want to see everything that happens. So first we're going to talk to Chuck, I Tony guess. Man. See what's going on with him. You have any family? Out there somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past oh, 14 years now. Oh, Sorry okay. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. This guy intrigues me because he just kind of showed up. You're homeless then. Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know. Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. He's a drunk. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Okay. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. Yeah, last video was pretty intense. That was crazy. I was not expecting any of that. And poor Kenny. I feel so bad for this guy. Hey, man. You and me, we... Uh, uh, let's just get to the ocean. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Well, isn't there a map right there? It's called the map if I bin. Can, you for a second, Kenny? can you just leave me alone? Okay, Kenny, I'm sorry. I understand. You're going through a tough time right now, dude. Guy just lost his entire family. Poor guy. Let's check in with Ben. See how's see how Ben's going. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you going to be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. Good. I hope that's true. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. I wish she killed Ben instead of Carly. But oh well. Can't have everything. What's this? A bottle of whiskey? It's a fifth of whiskey. Wow, I'll keep that for myself. <laughs> What's in this backpack? Oh, scissors. Oh, that yeah. That guy gave me advice to teach Clem how to use a gun and to cut her hair so she can't get grabbed. And frankly, I think it's a good I idea. We're not on this train much longer. I think she needs to be ready to uh, kill if she needs to. Because you know what? It's the apocalypse. Sometimes you gotta do that. Gotta do anything to stay alive. So can we give this whiskey to that guy? Do I want to, or do I want to keep it to myself? Found some alcohol. <laughs> I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Yes. <laughs> sure. Kenny probably needs it more than I do. Poor guy. Nothing like getting drunk on the front of a train. Not known for its finish. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Well, I should dude. tell Kenny. Kenny probably wants to get just obliterated and forget all his troubles. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. There you go, Kenny. Yeah, that'd help. There you go, bud. Oh, now I can get the maps. Wow. It all worked out. Thanks. You're welcome. You poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Kenny didn't deserve that. I think Kenny's a hell of a guy. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? 
No way. It was him. It's all my fault. <sighs> what for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Stupid Ben. That sucks. Carly died Bigfoot? because of him. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young and doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, it's a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. All right. I think it's good to teach her how to handle herself. It's important. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. How am I supposed to see? Okay, a little higher. Ahaha! I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Good thing we just have an endless supply of these bottles. And bullets, apparently. I nice. did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. All right, good. That was good. She needed that, I feel. Now she at least she knows how to, how to handle a gun. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's... Gotta at least try, Looks like we'll come you know? right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here. I 
imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... Um... Um... Something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... What? That I'm a murderer? Sure. Go ahead. I guess. I mean, I don't think we're gonna find them, so... I'll tell you sweet lies. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... <laughs> You'll get used to it. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Let's well, do it. Do this now. I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Give her a buzz cut. Buzz buzz. Or just cut it really short. Do you know how to do this? <laughs> nope. Not really. Nope. No idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. Probably. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yup. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Poor thing. She's been through so much. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Aw. There. All set. <laughs> We've left Lily. She's on the side of the road. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab. That was good. That was good. Gotta make Clementine as safe as possible. Alright. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! Coming in for a landing. Oh boy. Ooh, that is not good. <laughs> that is a tanker full of petroleum that will blow up. Maybe we could walk. That's Shut up, stupid, Ben. ben. Yeah. I'm just saying. Stupid, Ben. Shut yeah. up. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. Yup. You gotta get yep. a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you People. guys gonna be trouble? 
Because we could have just kept walking. Um, nope. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Okay, we'll kill them. Sounds good. I don't know, they seem okay though. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. So I guess let's climb up this ladder. See what's going on up here. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Funny, some little apocalypse humor. <laughs> A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. Omid and Krista. Okay. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? <laughs> Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Yep, 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 yep. Except Ben. Ben Kenny can go to hell. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd Fair appreciate enough. the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Okay, good. We found some new people. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, there's a, a generator, also a, a truck we can open up. Let's open up, see what's in here. Anything good? Anything that can help our plight? Um, I guess we can just search it. There's like some some tape or something. That's yeah. about the only useful thing in here. Okay, we have some tape. There's a tear in any paper, we can fix it. We have tape. Um, so we can't get up or anything to move this. So we're probably just going to have to like unhook the tanker, I would say. Yeah, like right here. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Okay, so that's probably what we'll have to do. Well, let's head back down then. <laughs> Guys, this is old Chill me out. and Krista. <laughs> Not big on welcomes. Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Oh, Kenny is in a Someone downer mood. Someone have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Okay, got a plan going. Excellent. Ooh, Chuck providing some music. Thank I'm you very much. Managed to keep the spirit. <laughs> Set in the mood. Good job, Chuck. Uh, where's Krista and Clementine? I I don't know about Krista. Her vibes are weird. We'll see though. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted. But it means something to him. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? 
<laughs> you two will be thick as thieves. Oh yeah, Lee's a, a history teacher. That's funny. Okay. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Yep. Look, I don't need a lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Ooh, okay. Sorry, Krista. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Okay, I think they're okay. After what happened on the dairy, I'm a little wary to trust people. But I think these two are okay. They're okay, I think. Let's go talk to Amid and Kenny. See what's popping in the <laughs> train. Uh, hey guys. Oh, we can talk about Civil War history. You like Civil War history, huh? <laughs> yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way. But if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, there should be some cool things to see. Excellent. Don't tell Krista, though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. You got it. Learning the ropes? Can't oh, we've bonded. Hard, right? There are a lot of levers I I've can't wait I've bonded with Omi. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in ships. We'll see. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. Apocalypse. <laughs> Her cat is gonna be pissed. Ooh, your cat is dead. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Talk to you later. Okay. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Okay, Kenny doesn't want to talk. <laughs> okay, well, let's go check out that service station. Now that we've made our rounds and talked to everybody, I want to go check out what's going on over there. Maybe there's something we can find in there that we can use to cut down this tanker or something. How do we get to it? Oh, convenient. You just have to click it. Am I solo in this one? Just me? Can I follow you over there? Oh. I like the new girl? Me and I Clem. Do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Ooh, okay. Survivor's inside. Since nobody's come out to greet us, I'm gonna guess that that means that they've died, and now there's zombies inside. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. I'd say. How old is this paint? Can that we tell? Paint has been dry for months. It's really old. Okay. They're totally dead then. Come on. There's a, a no entry sign. Hmm. Trespassers will be prosecuted. I don't think it counts as trespassing if it's in the apocalypse. You but... should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Okay, it's locked. Good. <laughs> uh, but there's a window open, so maybe we can, like, hoist Clementine through. Oh, there's a forklift. <laughs> Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. That's a bummer. That would be fun to ride out the apocalypse on a forklift. Okay, well, can we, like, boost Clementine up in there? The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Good idea. <clears throat> mm, oh. Won't but. Yeah, can't use my strength. Got it, uh... Why don't I there. put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. All right. <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Not bad. 
Good teamwork. Let's, Let's go, go in. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Any any walkers? <laughs> it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open. I don't like that. I'll prop it open with some. Okay. Too dark to see. We have to prop the door open. Oh, I have to use my wrench. That's not good. Because if any walkers come up on us, I won't be able to kill them. Uh oh. There's gotta be something useful in here. Yes, there does. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I think we can figure it out. Um, like a blowtorch. That would work. That would That's work. exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Okay, good. Um, probably can't open this. Uh, oh, but there's a key. All right. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. Um, hmm. Locked up good. Ah! There's a gap up above. There's That's some handy. Space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. Alright, up and over, Clementine. <laughs> you okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab him and let's get this gate open. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. There's a walker behind you. Behind you. <laughs> oh boy. Fuck. All right. Oh, and another one. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, gotta get this. Please grab it. There we go. And now we can smash. Yeah. Kill him. Ooh. Got it. Got him. And that's why you should always check before... You go into a building like that. Ooh, Clem is ready. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Everything's fine. It's okay. You'll get him next time, sport. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a zombie Jeez, in there with Clementine. <laughs> this is not good. Grab it. Grab the keys. Grab the keys. Grab the keys. Okay. Unlock it. Unlock it. Unlock it. Still locked. I know. Unlock it. <laughs> Okay, now open it. There you go. And dead. <sighs> God damn. That, that was close. So good. That was no, too close. It did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. Got him. What's we did going it. on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yep. Uh, we have we handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. Hmm. Mm. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Yeah, Krista. I hope you won't forget that, lady. That was rude. Rude lady. Okay, well, you okay, Clementine? I'm sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Okay, she's okay. Our girl's okay. They didn't have much business back then. Good observation. Let's grab this blowtorch. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. We learned not to be afraid. 
They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Okay. Good. Blowtorch has been acquired. Now let's cut this tanker down. Exciting stuff. Good news, folks. We did it. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, girls. Hey. We were trying to get used to being on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. It's good advice, to be fair. You're more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six or eight or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. Okay, she's just a survivalist. That's her deal. She's a hardened survivalist. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's head up and get this tanker cut down so we can be on our way. Okay, where'd Omid go? Hey, dude. Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? <laughs> I like Omid. Omid is funny. Okay, let's blowtorch this thing. Shit. What? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it oh. off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Like tape? Ha 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 ha! Full circle! Hope this holds. Okay, now we can do this. That's crazy! Look at it go! Just about got it. Ooh, he just Thanks. saved me. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. That's good. Let's do it. Now. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'll make a meat do it. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are. <laughs> God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> Shut up and start cutting. <laughs> <laughs> that is not Guys, good. There's something coming. What the what? Must be thousands. We gotta go. Omi, cut, cut. I am. It's going. Pull me up. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Oh, right into the ladder. Now we can't get down. Can he go? Oh, but maybe we can use the blowtorch to set the petroleum on fire so it'll burn up the horde. Yeah, this works. Holy crap! Okay, okay, good. That's gonna blow up, so we better get the hell on up out of here. What? No way! Jump, jump, jump. Guys. Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Gotta jump, uh. Omid. Come on. Come on. There ah. you go. Oh! oh. Shit! Uh 
Uh -oh. oh boy. Okay. Do I have to choose somebody to help up? Well, I'm gonna help the injured person, obviously. No, her, not me. Krista, no! She's fine. You piece of shit. She's a woman. Don't you know? <laughs> See, <laughs> she's fine. It's okay, honey. I'm okay. Okay, nice. That Do we get to see that thing blow up? I hope so. No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Oh, what? We don't get to see the explosion? I feel gypped. I wanted an explosion. Oh, but there's the city. That's good. We made it. Oh, is it a drawing of Kenny and his family? That's sad. That's really sad. Oh, it is. Ow. Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. They Looking are. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll never get over today. That's all I keep thinking. Try to think about what's ahead of you. That's why I keep thinking it. I'll leave you to your thoughts. Poor Kenny. She's out cold like I've never seen. <laughs> I thought that was broken. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Holy shit. I no. thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Oh, uh, what? Is that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents. Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Uh-oh. Um. Who has she been talking to? That's not good. That's not good for us. That's not good for us at all. I'm concerned. Oh, we finished the episode. Next time on The Walking Dead. What's happening next? We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. Ooh, episode four. Looking like things are getting intense. Okay. Did you shoot the girl in the street? You and 59% of players did not shoot her. Okay. Did you abandon Lily? You and 45% of players left her. Did you fight Kenny? No. <laughs> Me and 45% of players talked him down. Me and 81% of players shot Duck. And you and 60% of players helped Omid. Okay, so for once, I wasn't in the minority for all of these. I was just in the minority for abandoning Lily and not fighting Kenny. Pretty good, pretty good episode, I would say. Super sad. I mean, I can't believe everything that happened. Carly got shot in the face. <laughs> Lily got left. 
Katya killed herself, and then I had to shoot Duck because he was going to turn into a walker. <laughs> and then we found out Ben was the traitor. Good stuff, huh? And then what's this thing going on with Clementine and the radio? That is the thing that concerns me the most, I think. So I guess that's going to do it for this one. And then next time we'll get into episode four and see what's going on in Savannah. So thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!